before you have a scratch to come out. And this Hello sounds like typical gas. Everybody. Okay, we just got oxygen up and going. And our tanks are running a little bit empty. So we're gonna mark this little spot here. Going to switch this to a red color. Make a little new station here, just so we got a mark on this location. Hopefully, I have enough to get this made really quick. It's gonna be close. Should be the trick. Perfect. Go ahead and take our little staconovite miner, little mining ship right here. We're gonna go fill up on ice, and then we're gonna have to go back to the center because we know there is a lot of uranium there, and we've probably got about 10 hours of life support on our ship right now, which is plenty, but uh, I want to have a little bit of a stock, and we're gonna kind of make that center location our, our main kind of go-to base, so... Let's see. Our little mining ship started. I'm just gonna drill out a portion of this section. Kind of widen it up a bit. This will allow us to have just enough oxygen where we shouldn't have to come back here and get more of her. Hopefully, uh, you know, until we get a few ships and other things going, get them shaken around a bit. This thing looks like it has a ton of ice in the middle of it, so we want to definitely mark this location on our map. Make sure we've got a good spot to come back and get as much ice as we need so we can always breathe. <laughs> These little pieces, uh, when you get knocked around right now, what seems to happen if you're in a remote control system is it just turns your dampeners off, basically. You just keep going and floating around, so I might have to, every time I get smacked, have to switch back, turn it off the remote control and jump back into it, which isn't too big of a deal. Um, the scary thing is it's taking a little bit of the damage when you're doing it, so you notice we're a little bit low. We're in the, still in the 90s for health, but it's kind of scary. Random ways to die in the game again. It seems like this whole area is vibrating when it while I'm mining it, it's like the shake goes to the entire world instead of just, uh, you know, the, the mining ship itself, which is kind of interesting, but it's scary. I don't want to drill myself. a handful of things in the game. They made it so the dancing doesn't work anymore. It's actually fixed, which is kind of cool. That was just kind of weird, like your character was tweaking all the time. and We don't want to be a tweaker. <laughs> Let's get this aligned up. Lock it in. Let's see, where to put this stuff? That looks like a good spot. Ooh. I have ice everywhere in here. Let's empty it out. Let's get 
this ready to dock back up. Let's see. Just a couple pieces drifting. One piece? Ooh. Oh, one thing we didn't go into the last time is all that extra ore that's sitting on the top. So, it's kind of annoying that it doesn't all go into the uh, collector piece there. But there's a really simple fix for it, or I guess a, something that we can do on our side. It's all locked up. And that is, we just rock the ship a little bit. And by rocking the ship, all those extra pieces are going to go straight into the collector. So we just go a little bit forward. We can see a little bit of latency. Well, I can I can sense it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. But when we do the initial rocking, there's going to be a little bit of lag. Just all these pieces floating around. Let's do a little rock back and forth. And all the pieces start to get to where they're supposed to be. There's a handful of little spots under the thrusters that the pieces tend to get stuck. You can see some ice in there right above the beacon. Not too bad. Okay. So let's go find an opening for this main asteroid and we want to go put a GPS mark in it. So we've got three hours of, uh, four, maybe four hours of fuel time when we're going at full, full throttle on the backside. And we're going to go back to Asteroid Cirrus over there. Get as much uranium as we can, and I'm hoping what we'll be able to do. Um, I think we'll start up a little another refinery and just get this ship going. Um, add a few pieces to it while we're on the run, and get get some our little cargo um, piece hooked up on this. Let's make a note that this has ice, platinum, iron, what else did this have? Some silver. Look how this piece is just drifting around still. we're going to do really quick is grab this set an increase acceleration for some reason that's making us do that twice and we're going to kick our acceleration to our ship really high cuts our uh, fuel time way low when we get that going almost in half going from you know, four G's to a full G. Let's collect some of this extra crap. I think that's pretty good. Ah, screw it. Good enough. We're just going to go, turn our dampeners off, turn our gravity generator off, and we'll see all these pieces just drifting out behind us. Going to get up to about 90 meters per second. I think that'll be a decent, decent speed that we can still move around. We're going to add a projector to the ship. What else do we need inside? Maybe start working on the air pieces. We'll see. I'm not too worried about the oxygen. I'm more worried about getting the projector up and going. Once we get the projector going, we'll be able to um, make the attachment on the bottom there. And that'll give us an extra two refineries and uh, just a ton of cargo for all the ore that we plan on getting. Yeah, that's 
about good right there. Hopefully we don't die outright. I think it's when the dampeners are on, when the ship's slowing down. That's when your chances of dying go up. And we've got ice on us. Don't need the ice. Trade those. Shaking around a little bit. It's not too bad. programming block. I don't know what we'll do with it, but it's there just to have it. And the projector. Oh, we're making pretty good time. Barely enough time to build this up. What do you move? 16,000 meters. I guess we could say 16 kilometers. Americans don't know the difference between that kind of stuff, right? Let's see, we want to switch to our projector. Ooh, projector, projector, la la la. And we're gonna grab our cargo module with the refinery. Let's see, does that seem like a roll? Right. I like to throw the projector into a group just to make it easier to find it. I don't know about you guys, but I just have a bear of a time getting these things aligned. That looks good. Since we're moving, it's uh, going to be off just a hair. And I've been having issues with the uh, what you call it the uh, merge blocks. So we're gonna... Uh, uh, don't have any steel plates on me. Uh oh, we don't have time. Ah, get back in! Usually, with the merge blocks, I just throw on a couple tack pieces that I can knock off after I get the merge blocks synced. They seem to be drifting a bit on me. We don't like the drifting. So I'm going to slow this thing down a little bit quicker. Oh, that was a little too quick. Not bad. Can work with that. This asteroid has so much uranium. I don't think I've ever seen an asteroid with that amount before. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It seems like we're not going to have much to do. And it looks like we're getting low on nickel. And I assume cobalt too. Um, 
So, I don't think there was much here. We're probably going to have to go find some or just become pirates. Um, either way, I think that's kind of fun doing the pirating. It seems like, uh, you know, tactics on how to collect some of the, um, the ship seems pretty popular. Um, the one episode that I did with the, uh, what was that, the mining carriage, uh, everybody seemed to, to like that one. It had more views, at least. Um, so we might continue to do a, a handful more of those. So I'm going to turn our gravity back on. I'm going to go for this clump of uranium right here. Didn't kill myself, thank God. Let's go. Turn the dampener so that would help. Uranium is kind of interesting. Even though we're grinding down a ton of it, it doesn't seem to fill up the um, cargo as quickly as iron and some of the other materials. It's like you just don't grab as much or uh, the volume is less. Not exactly sure which. So, I think one of the old bugs came back in the game where all those little bits will send our ship into like no man's land if we don't rock it. Those rocked in. We're gonna disconnect our welding ship. So when we get the merge, it doesn't blow things out. That stopped all the way. Grab a couple of the steel plates. That oxygen. Should be good. Do a couple tacks right there. That piece in. That one. Just gonna go down the center line first. Top row of cargo containers. That will allow us to hook in the refinery. It's really easy. We can get this one too. Why not? Oh, there's the refinery. I was in the middle of it. So let's see. I think now. I have to stock up the little welding ship and turn the projector off. This thing really seems to be shaking. I don't know if I like that very much. Well, let's go ahead and make some steel plates. We're going to have extra 200. I think we've got most everything else. A little few girders and a some bulletproof glass. We'll just get started on that. It takes a while to get those going. And that'll allow us to make the fancy windows. Let's go ahead and zoom through this really quick. We're just going to be doing some welding to the cargo container module that we just made. And it's just a little bit time consuming going through all the inventory pieces and tacking on the bits. And we'll just save a few minutes by doing this. Oh, there's another mining carriage over there. Oh, I think we might need to grab that. Let's see. Let's flip the projector on really quick. Get this piece in here. Turn it back off. Let's get that refinery started. Is so it getting closer? It's staying about the same. Go ahead and 
lock this piece down. as many materials as we can get right now. I want to make a, a better home ship and to do that I'm going to need a buttload of material. So we're at Cirrus right now. Let's hope this doesn't go out of range. I don't know how long it was there for. Thankfully, we made a bunch of cargo containers before coming out here. Otherwise, we wouldn't have anywhere to put the grinded material for this. We've got like three by three, so about nine containers. There's the antenna. Ooh, I don't want to go up here. How'd he shoot at us? He should be shooting at us. From the jack is load here and his ship. Why is my projector on? Oh, I hope I brought enough oxygen. I think I did. Should be enough to get back. I'm not too far out. Do the same thing getting this locked in. Always take out these small reactors first. That way we can take power over the ship, turn off the Gatling turrets and all that fancy kind of stuff. It's weird not shaking with my legs, not doing a dance anymore. The limp character is kind of cool in space. I like how they added that feature. And some of the cool features that they add are a little bit buggy when they first come out, but I think Keen Software does a great job trying, um, making this game really entertaining for us to play, at least for me, uh, and hopefully for you guys to watch me play it. <laughs> right. Okay, don't die, don't die, don't die. We really bucked out when uh, we went for that original, mi or for the ice. Completely forgot about the mining carriage that we did in one of the first episodes. If we would have gone in that direction, the ice probably wouldn't have been populated for us to get, so... Lots of good luck in this episode so far, or in this series so far. Good luck in it. Okay. Let's hit the dampeners. Point it to our GPS. Do the GPSs have limits? No, there's a Minerva. We're kind of in between them, huh? Cut the power. Let's take out this Gatling turret first. Always get the Gatling turrets first, that way when you get back to your base, you don't kill yourself. <laughs> Probably should have had our lights off, too, to save some energy. It's all good. Making pretty decent time back. Oh, I really want some solar panels. I want to start charging batteries and whatnot. Batteries just seem to take forever to charge up. So having a solar panel little... Uh, hub is a nice place to just have it auto charge the batteries and then when you hook up to it with your ship you can just dump off all the 
excess battery panel. Jeez. 9,000. I don't think we have anything in our way. Besides us getting confused. We're going to zip through this last little bit that's just grinding down the beacon, antenna, and getting us safely home. I think we've gone quite a bit over uh, the normal time that I do, so a little bit of it for uh, editing uh, some speed throughs in this episode just to get through a little bit faster. I don't know if you guys like that kind of stuff or not. I think that's pretty good. We got an extra mining carriage. We got one more refinery going over here. And oh, I gotta get my lump off of this thing. Let's grab her, grab her before I forget. Get that merge block back enabled. Look at that little clumps of ore and mineral are still just floating. Tack these two pieces in. So I think this is a very productive uh, start that we've had so far in this game. I couldn't ask for anything better. All these uh, perfect minerals. We got easy cargo ships to take out. Just a really, really good start. I'm really happy with it so far. Looks like we're missing a couple pieces off of one container. Jump out here. Let's see what we're missing. Displays and tubes. Perfect. Guess we could have gotten two refineries going before we left. It's always grabbing the stone. Ah, uh, we'll call it a episode right here and hopefully you guys enjoyed jacking another ship and all that kind of fun stuff and we will see you next time we're still here.